Hey there, I feel like I'm losing my mind here. These are not mirages of flying boats or Fata Morgana mirages. These photos here are Fata Morgana mirages. I've seen this misidentification going on for a few years now and I've never really been able to articulate my frustration of this until now. And this latest photo of a misidentified Fata Morgana mirage has finally pushed me over the edge. <laughs> and no, not the edge of the Flat Earth. Yes, Flat Earthers do agree with me on this, but only because they think all Fata Morgana mirages have nothing to do with refraction, but are actually objects distorting into the vanishing point or some garbage like that. But they're most definitely wrong as well. Fata Morgana mirages are real, and there's plenty of good explanations of how they happen and tons of photos and footage of them happening. They are basically a more complex version of a superior mirage, where the mirage appears above the object. In fact, the definition of a Fata Morgana mirage is... A Fata Morgana is a complex form of a superior mirage that is seen in a narrow band right above the horizon. Da, 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 da. Fata Morgana mirages specifically distort the object or objects on which they are based, often such that the object is completely unrecognizable. So, basically, not like this. Because these mirages can sometimes show objects that are over the curve of the Earth, they've been used as globe Earth evidence, and that is why the flat ones agree with me when I say these are not Fata Morganas. In fact, there's some incredible mirages like this one, where almost the entire ocean over the horizon has been lifted above the horizon. You can almost imagine a distorted ship or a, or a drilling platform in here, fooling some people into thinking the Earth is flat. All these photos are flying boats. Besides the obvious, what's similar about them? They're all low resolution, taken in hazy conditions. They can be enhanced to show what's really happening. Even the uncropped versions can give us a better idea of what's happening. But I've found a high res photo in clear conditions that demonstrates what's really happening. And here it is. And it's a fairly common effect. Growing up by the ocean, I've seen this effect my entire life. And it's generally better visible from an elevated position. There's wind here, causing the water to look choppy, which it is. Here, there's little or no wind, causing that smooth, glassy effect, which almost looks like the sky. As the whole scene isn't on the horizon, we get a better view of what's happening. Now, imagine no clouds here, a bit of haze or fog, and a low-resolution camera, and bingo, flying ship and a misidentified Fata Morgana Mirage. Sometimes the dual water conditions can be reversed, smooth in the foreground and choppy in the background. I have seen and photographed superior mirages here in Australia. Believe it or not, here in southeastern Australia, it does get reasonably cold in winter. Not Canada cold, but cold enough for superior mirages. Usually I see inferior mirages where the mirage is below the object creating the floating island effect but most of the time all the mirages are on the horizon not within 10 miles of the camera now my last little short video i did on this topic did generate some criticism which i attribute to the lack of observational experience some people have which is understandable mirages are a complex optical phenomena that can be difficult to fully understand. I was shown this video by the Science Channel, which does a good job at explaining how superior and Fata Morgana mirages work, but they've applied their explanations to the wrong photos. These photos all here of the flying ships are wrong. Someone screwed up a little bit. But as we saw in the definition of a Fata Morgana, these objects should be completely distorted. And they're not. But this video highlighted for me how deeply misunderstood most mirages are, and it's a topic I'm still learning about. My view of these not being mirages isn't just shared by me. My peers also share this frustration, but many of you also agreed and backed up my opinion on this, and thank you very much for that. If you're looking for a more detailed analysis of what's going on, check out this video by Mick West. 
He does a fantastic job. He breaks down the whole misunderstood optical illusion that isn't a mirage. Okay, thanks heaps for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. And do not forget to tell all the morons to grow a pair, put on their big boy pants, and face reality because the earth isn't flat. See ya. Ha 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 ha!